hi guys welcome back on my channel today i decide to show you how to dutch bread so basically it's the french bread but in reverse so i'm gonna use this style because after that i used to tie my head with scarves so like that you can see how is it under underneath my scarf so first of all i separate my head into parts so just make sure that the port is equal. So obviously you can uh, do uh, two bread, four bread, depend of the style that you want to achieve. Today I'm gonna do four because obviously when I do only two breads is a bit less flat, so under the scarf is less easy. Um, and I like to do a little fringe in front, so we're gonna let some hair there over there. This, I'm gonna put it away for later. For my personal style. So I just wash my hair. So I prefer to work with uh, wet hair, but it's not really important, depending on you. If it's more easy when for you when your hair is dry, just do it dry with dry hair. First, this is gonna be just for my style later, so I just put some uh, leave in. I just wash them, and here I'm gonna do a twist, okay? Just don't wanna touch to those hair, they're gonna help me for other styles. At the same time, you see how I do my twist. Simple. I just did use the living. See. I like now they're just being more so they're really uh, flexible. And I just add some oil for. Hmm. Keep it moisturized, yeah? Always. So let's start for the Dutch braid. So usually I only use my finger for finger detangling, but now for just uh, for the purpose to see clearly the where I'm gonna separate, I'm gonna use the comb to just separate the two Dutch braid. We're gonna do here. Double check. I'm not too bad to separate equally, but if you're not used to just use two mirrors to look in front and back to be sure that is well separated. For those hair. We're gonna use them for the first spread. They are super red, so I just use a t-shirt to take out some water. Now let's put the leave in. So my leave in, as usual, is uh, this one from Shape Monster. And I had in my hand a bit of my holes mix. I mix them together and just apply them on my hair. I don't put the living on my scalp. I just put it on my hair. And okay. So 
let's start. So you're gonna take three a little triangle at the beginning. See? And separate it in three strands. One up, one in the middle, and one down, okay? And it's simple. Each strand gonna join the middle. So you see let's start again. This strand we're gonna put it in the middle. Then this strand in the middle. See? This strand was up in the middle. You pass down below everything for the Dutch bread. So middle. This strand in the middle. This strand in the middle. And it's always the same until the end. You just add some hair like this, like I just did, and you put it in the middle. Just add each time new hair, little by little. See? Like I, put, I add it to the other hair. Until the end, and when we are there, just a simple uh, bread, like the three strands, middle, middle, like before, middle, middle, middle. And I just turn at the end, and we're done. So we're gonna do this uh, four times to be sure that it stay all my head gonna be flat for prepare to put a scarf. Now let's back to the other side. Yes. So this side is where I have shorter hair that are broken because of the alopecia. Uh, so it's gonna be a bit more difficult, but we can do it. This is a protect. I use this style like a protective style. So. If my hair stretched there, it's more easy to have break them. I just moisturize every time under my bonnet and scarf every day, and I'm already ready to go. Okay, so let's start again. I'll take out some water. Cream and hoy.
But I really love this living. And here we go. And we start again with the three strands. One, two, and three. Obviously, more you you put the strings closed, more it's gonna be tight. And same for the last one. Now we'll continue. Add some hair every time. I just keep my tissue and I just change the way I do it. When you have short hair, make, you have to do it closer because uh, to be sure that it's tight. If not, it's, this hair is not going to stay. Like those hair are really short. So I try to make it really tight. Oh, I forget to turn the pair, so I need to start back from here. That happened. It doesn't matter, it's not a big deal. Just go back where you left the string. And that's it. So, go is there. Just be sh make sure that you take back the three strands. One, two, three. And you just do it again. Here you go. You get your four touch bread and the style is done ready to put any scarf or style. Obviously if you want 
more feminine style that's why you do like me you do a little fringe in the front uh, this I can use this when it's gonna dry to do, just take it out let it like sit like this for example or I can just as well put some extension to make it more feminine because it's gonna be more long but you get it you get the style and we're done have a good day guys <laughs>